at a memorial service held yesterday at Tonawa village in Oshana, speaker after speaker described Amagulu as a true comrade, a hero, and a patriot who gave his all for the freedom and independence of the country and its people. Amagulu became politically active in 1975, recruiting Namibians to join SWAPO. In his mobilization for support to the armed wing plan, he was arrested and later transferred to Bloemfontein in South Africa. He spent eight years in the infamous Robben Island prison where he suffered torture. After his release, he continued to support the cause for Namibia's freedom and independence. In a message of condolences delivered on his behalf, President Hage Genkop said, Amagulu's life spent fearlessly with dedication and in meritorious service is testimony to his character as an unwavering freedom fighter. We celebrate this great man of honor, humility and integrity. Let the revolutionary right, right of remembrance emanating from a life of a patriotic duty and dedication light our life so that we can continue to forge ahead with nation building, to steer our country toward the promise of prosperity. Former President Hifike Punye Pohamba commended Amagulu for his immense contribution to Namibia's political landscape and the peace Namibians enjoy today. Founding President Sam Nyoma also paid tribute. To his family, your laws is our loss. Yes, we share this grievance with you during this difficult period of mourning and bereavement. May the tear of your grievance wash away pain and sorrow. Amahulu was conferred an official funeral. He is survived by his wife and four children.